Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to dive into the Orchestrator API to retrieve a comprehensive list of all the folders available in our tenant. So it's our journey into the heart of Orchestrator. So let's get started. Now before we dive into the code, let's quickly understand why getting all the folder is a powerful capability. Folders in the UiPath Orchestrator provides a structured way to organize your automation project and being able to fetch them programmatically opens up a world of possibilities. So to achieve this, we'll be utilizing the UiPath Orchestrator API, which allows us to interact with Orchestrator's features programmatically. Our focus today is on retrieving information about all the folders available. Now let's get hands on. We'll be using UiPath Studio to create the workflow that communicate with the UiPath Orchestrator API. Don't worry. If you are a beginner, I'll guide you through each step. So let's go to the studio. Alright, so we are in the studio. So here as you have seen in the last video, I have explained how we can get the access token uh, through the authentication method. If you haven't watched that video, I'll recommend you to go and first watch that video as that video will help you to know how we can get the access token because access token uh, is must for all the API calls that we need to perform. Now today we'll be going to get the folders available in our tenant. So let's create one more sequence so for this sequence first of all let's declare a variable and this variable will be our base error and the value will be of our orchestrator Now uh, we will use one activity called build data table and in this activity I will store the uh, a folder name and the folder ID so this will be the name of the folder this will be the ID of the folder let's hit ok now I will use HTTP request So let's configure it. So we'll be use base URL along with it. We'll be using four data folders and the client certificate will be nothing. Also, we don't have any password, so we'll say nothing. And request method will be get and type accept type will be JSON. So now let's add some parameter called headers. So first parameter will be our authorization. That is this one. And for this we'll create an argument. And another parameter will be X UI path tenant name and the tenant name will be my tenant all right so this is what we I'll have to do with this activity all set it's done ok now let's go to the properties here we'll create the output variable json content j 
shit. J output and this will be my status. All right, now we will use deserialize activity. Wait, yes, something. All right, we will use deserialize activity. So this will be the input. output will be j folders let's say now we'll use for each activity so here this this will return multiple tokens so out of that tokens we'll be using the value token only so let's say J folders dot select token and the token name will be value that I will that will get it from the response of this HTTP request dot children so we'll be using the children of value token now let's create the output variable for this control k output and we'll use add data row activity and our first will be current item of display name and second parameter will be the id right all right so this is done now we will have to pass the data table as well dt output at the end we will write it to an excel file so let's keep the name as test dot xlsx extension is incorrect correct And sheet name will call it as folders and data table will call it as dt output All right so everything is settled here now let's go to the main folder here we will invoke this get folders xml so our argument will be Need to create the output variable for this. It's already there. Let's copy it, paste it here. I have done one mistake over here. The argument direction should be in. Right, let's go again here import arguments and paste the variable in let's hit ok so there is one file okay there is no output file is there and i'll show you in my orchestrator there are two folders one is called shared folder and another one is called test folder so soon you will see both the folders in the output file let's execute the code
all right so this is our access docker okay the execution is done let's refresh it one file is there let's open it uh, i think i missed to add the headers all right so you can see this is the name of the folder and this is the id of the folder so this id uh, is very useful actually we will be use will be going to use this id in order to like do the other api calls in future so this is how basically we can get the uh, all the folders from the orchestrator or from our tenant hope you find this tutorial helpful give it a thumbs up subscribe and hit the notification bell for more ui path insights as always, I am here to help you. Drop your questions in the comment below. Thank you for joining me today on this orchestrated adventure. Keep exploring, keep automating and I will catch you up in the next one. Until then, happy automating.